Man, first of all, exists, encounters himself, surges up in the world, and defines himself afterwards. His name was Albert Samza. He was 31. In his spare time, he would calculate in his mind ever-increasing multiples of eleven, a doomed quest for infinity. He worked as an insurance underwriter, reading clients' insurance needs like a mystic reading palms. In his lunch breaks, he went to the local cafe and ordered his usual black coffee, two sugars, and a fried egg. And in the afternoons, he went to the park and watched the wind dance with the winter leaves. He now finds himself in my home. So I decided to confront him. But he asked too many questions. If his life was a flame, why did I strike the match? I tried explaining to him in the only way I knew. But my own flames flickering, so fleeting, I had to snuff his out. But after all, his life wasn't unlike my own.
so I ran, searching for the horizon. I have nowhere to go. The swift satellites show. The clock of my whole being is slow. In life, a man commits himself, draws his own portrait, and there is nothing but that portrait.